Hi everybody, how are you guys? I haven't seen you guys or talked to you guys in so long. How have you all been? Let me know in the comments down below. For those who don't know me, my name is Laura. If you are new to my channel, definitely press that subscribe button down below. Oh my goodness, I haven't done this for so long that I'm getting tongue tied. But yeah, today I've got a haul video. I haven't filmed a video in a few, I want to say months now. I'm so sorry about that. I just had a lot of things going on. I'll explain maybe in another video. Nothing major, nothing drastic. Like I'm okay, everything like that. But just a lot of things were getting my confidence down. So I will let you guys know maybe in a future video, maybe in this video. I don't know. We'll just see how it all pans out. But anyway, today I have a haul video for you guys. It's semi-collective. I bought some stuff off Makeup Net that came today. Bought some stuff off Sephora a little while ago, but I haven't used it. So I thought I'd show you guys what's some stuff from the skincare store. So yeah, just a whole array of stuff. Let's jump right into it and I'll show you what I bought. Okay, so let's start off with Makeup Net. So the first thing that I got is this Garbo and Kelly contour kit. It's called the Instagirl contour kit. This is just the sleeve that it comes in. It's so gorgeous though. Look at that. But this is what the actual palette looks like. So it's not just your typical cardboard. It does have a bit of cushioning to it, which is nice. So at least if you do have it for traveling or anything like that, it does have some absorbs absorption there. Oh my goodness, I can't speak today. But basically in this palette, you have cream and powder products. And you also get a decent sized mirror as well. So the top row is creams. And then the bottom row is powders. I have not used this palette yet because I literally just got it in the mail today. But my friend Vicky, oh my goodness, I love her so much. She's one of my closest and dearest friends. She bought this. She told me that it was really, really good. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it too. So she has only used the powders. She hasn't used the creams, but I'm sure I'll be fine. And I'm actually really looking forward to this orange because if it's good corrector, oh my goodness, this will save me so much time packing an extra product for correcting my under eyes. So yeah, super excited for this palette. And I believe that this brand is Australian owned, I want to say. I've only recently seen it on Instagram. I haven't heard too many people talk about it besides people who get sent to NPR and Vicky. So... Yeah, I'm not really too sure what to expect, but I thought that I'd pick up a few things from this brand to give it a try. Another palette, I went a little bit palette crazy. This is an eyeshadow palette, is from Violet Voss. Now, if you guys are familiar with Violet Voss from like, I don't know, like 2016, the palettes were quite thin, like really, really thin. Now, this one is really quite thick compared, but I guess that's a good thing because one of them was so thin that my mirror broke in it, like, and none of my makeup really breaks. So these are the colors that are in the palette. So you do have a few mattes and then quite a few shimmers as well. I really like this array of colors. I just wish that there was one darker brown because the darkest brown in the palette is this color here. And to be honest, it isn't even that dark. So, well, there is this one here, but this is like a shimmer, I mean mattes. But you know what, whatever. I love Violet Voss shadows so much and these colors are beautiful. So next we have the LA Girl Luminous Glow Skin Illuminator and it's in the shade Afterglow. You get 30 mils. Hopefully this is good because I saw swatches online and they looked absolutely stunning. So fingers crossed that it's good. I just, what I envision for this is to be able to use it all over the face as like an under makeup base, like mixed in with a primer or using it on top of the cheekbones. Like, oh. It just looked so beautiful on the online swatches. So yeah, and this is so affordable too. Another thing from Garbo and Kelly, I got a liquid lipstick from them, which to be honest, I thought that my li liquid lipstick phase was over, but I'm sure was wrong. To be honest, this was quite expensive. Like I think these are normally $32, but I bought it for 16. I think $32 for an Australian like liquid lipstick is quite a lot. Like I think $32 is like almost hitting like Mac price. Like, I don't know, like that's just my personal opinion. Luckily I got it for $16, but I bought the shade Encore. I'm not going to swatch it yet because, I don't know, maybe I'll put it on. Should I put it on? Can I put it over the top of this? Let's hope so. Okay, thank God. I literally, for some reason, thought it was going to smell like pepper. It feels nice and creamy. Obviously I won't be able to give you guys like a full review of it just based on first impressions because I do have it over another liquid lipstick but off first impression I do quite like the color it's really really pretty and I feel like it goes better with my top 
than the other color that I had on did. So that's great. I cannot wait to use this a bit more. Okay, so I did get a few things, or a few more things from LA Girl. I got a few powders because these were on sale as well. These were on sale for $3 each, which I think is a bargain. Like in Australia, LA Girl is still like $17 or $18 for a powder. Like that to me is like, like, yes, it's still cheap. Like it's still around your Maybelline price, but like in the States, it's like a few dollars, you know? So to get some for like three bucks, I was like, yep, totally. So I got some of their pro face powders. So the high definition matte press powders, and I got a few shades. So I got the shades classic tan, which is this one here. I also got the shade true bronze, which is this one. And then I also got the shade Toffee. Now, obviously, none of these are going to be my personal face powder, but I wanted to use these for bronzer because I love using face powder as bronzer. Like, I love it so, so much. And the powder feels so soft. Oh, my God. I want to get this in my, like, my normal face color, but they were sold out at the time when I was buying them. Also from LA Girl, and I love how they put them in, like, these little boxes, I think, because I ordered quite a few. But anyway, so from LA Girl, I did buy two strobing powders because these were also, I think, $3, maybe $5. I bought two shades because, and to be honest, these aren't the two shades that I would have initially bought. But because they were only a few dollars, I was like, you know what? I'd rather try the formula out with a few dollars than, like, spend, like, $20 on it. So I did buy the shade 90 Watt, which is this color here, which is, like, a pink. And then I also bought the shade 50 Watt, which if I can take off the little sticker, is this color here. And this color reminds me of like opal or something. Oh my gosh, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh my gosh, that is great. I'm gonna try the other one. Oh, so I'm gonna use my ring finger this time. Where have I not swatched? Oh, I can't even see. Like, obviously, that's just a finger swatch, but that's really good. And those aren't actually terrible colors. Like, I was expecting them to be a lot less wearable than what they are. So that's great. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Win. From Sephora, I did buy a few things. So the first thing that I got was from Fenty Beauty. So these were the first Fenty Beauty things that I bought. This is the Gloss Bomb in the shade... What shade is this in? Fenty Glow. I haven't used this yet, but hopefully it is good because it was expensive. I also picked up their red liquid lipstick. So this is in the shade Uncensored. It's just this color here. Hopefully this is good as well. To be honest, like I'm really going past these quickly because to be honest, I'm really pissed off at something. I don't know if I want to make a rant video. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but yeah. I also got two of the Kilowatt highlighters. This one is in the shade Mean Money Hustler Baby, which I feel like everybody has. That lipstick feels so crusty. So that's Mean Money Hustler Baby. That one's Hustler Baby, that one's Mean Money. If you guys would like to know my rant, please let me know, because I would be more than happy to do it for you. And this one is Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, which I feel like everybody also has. And to be honest, since buying these, I feel like no one talks about them anymore, so that's a testament to how good they are, right? So also from Tarte, I got the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Highlighting Powder. This is in the shade Exposed Highlight. I also, I already have the Exposed Blush, but my friend Yagma, she bought the Exposed Highlight and she said it's really, really good. So I decided to pick it up as well. Hopefully this is nice. Let's give it a little swatch. Oh my gosh, it's so intense. And I only used, like, I, I literally only tapped it a few times and then like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. From Dose of Colors, I also got a few liquid lipsticks because they were doing a buy one, get one free off lips. So me and my friend Anne, we basically like went together and we bought some liquid lipsticks or she bought some liquid lipsticks and some bullet lipsticks. I just bought liquid lipsticks and then we got free shipping, which was great. So I bought four. So I bought the shade Bury Me, which is this color here. I've been wanting the shade for so long, but I've just been putting it off. So I was like, you know what? Buy one, get one free. Let's just do it. Cannot wait to use this. I also bought the shade Warm and Fuzzy. My friend also bought this color as well. To be honest, the color that it shows there is a pretty good testament as to what color it is. This is Extra Saucy, which is a beautiful red. I've worn this before, but it does, like, it's still got the transfer of a lipstick. It's just that it has a staying power of a liquid lipstick, if that makes sense. 
And then I've also got Lazy Days, which was the color that I was wearing before I put on that Garbo and Kelly over the top. So if you want to see what this color looks like at the start of the video, I was wearing this lipstick. To finish on skincare, I did get a few things from Skin Institute. Um, one thing that I don't have here is the glycolic cleanser or cleansing scrub. That stuff is beautiful. I've been using it. It's currently in my shower and I love it to pieces. It's great. I also bought this four pack set because I do plan on going away at the end of the year. So I thought it might be a good idea to get like some travel items. So I did. It comes with a full size of this spray, which I was super interested in, but still have not used. It's the Skin Institute Multi Active Mist, and that's a full size in 100ml, which I don't think is a lot, because I think this is like $30 or $40. So, I don't know. In my opinion, I think that's a lot, but whatever. I bought it in this kit. It also came with the Age Defense SPF 50, which has 75ml, which to be honest, I didn't even know that was in there, but that's great. I'm showing it to you like my camera focuses, but it doesn't focus. <laughs> it also came with a small version of my glycolic scrub. So this one's the 14%. And then it also came with the lactic cleanser, which I really want to give a try actually. But yes, Institute is like an Australian skincare brand. And I think that's called the starter kit. And then it's also got like instructions in there as well. I also got three serum slash creams. So the first one is the Ultra Firming Eye and Neck Cream. This had really, really great reviews, so I decided to give it a go. I also got the Rejuvenate 15 Serum. This is this assists with skin regeneration and renewal. And I also got the I Believe, which is another eye cream. And to be honest, I really like all three of these products. They all have like this type of mechanism where it like pops open okay guys so that is all the products that i've recently bought from a few stores i hope you guys enjoyed definitely let me know what you thought in the comments down below and let me know some stuff that you've bought recently because i would love to know and yeah i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i will hopefully see you in my next video bye